Welcome to Time Beat Breaking News Channel. Here are our breaking news today. 1. The first five day event in the UK will take place in June. 2. Myanmar journalists and activists arrested in Thailand. The United Kingdom. The first five day event in the UK will take place in June. In a return to live in person events, the organizers of Wimbledon Book Fest have announced a five day festival for June. Sunrise will be the first of two five day festivals on Wimbledon Common this summer. Wimbledon Book Fest is such an important part of the community's cultural calendar for so many. The event will consist of 40 talks, readings, discussions, and workshops spanning fiction, poetry, politics, nature, music and more. The program features a range of writers, artists, and thinkers, from well-known names to important new voices and local talent. Each event will take place in a reduced capacity, roof-only marquee with allocated seating to fit social distancing guidelines. Running two festivals in open-air marquees when the weather is warmer allows us to welcome back our audiences in a safe, controlled way. The COVID-secure format was successfully used in October 2020 when organizers presented the last days of summer, one of the few in-person arts festivals to take place last year. Fiona Rasby, festival director said, it's so wonderful to be running live events this summer. Sunrise Festival will take place between June 9th to 13th. Sunset Festival will take place between September 15th to 19th. Myanmar. Myanmar journalists and activists arrested in Thailand. Three journalists and two activists from Myanmar who fled over the border to Thailand have been arrested for illegal entry and could face possible deportation. Broadcaster DVB, Democratic Voice of Burma, said their lives would be in serious danger if they were forced back to Myanmar, where the military took power in a coup on February 1 and has since arrested dozens of journalists. Since February, 4,916 people have been arrested by the military, according to the Advocacy Group, Assistance Association for Political Prisoners in Burma. The majority remain in detention, often in unknown locations. The junta banned DVB and several other media outlets in March in an attempt to suppress independent coverage of protests against its rule. Despite the risks, journalists have continued to work in hiding, documenting the military's brutal crackdowns in which 781 people, including 52 children, have been killed. The Panapon Cherangsri, the head of police in the Sansai district outside the Thai city of Chiang Mai, told Reuters that five Myanmar citizens had been arrested for entering the country illegally and would be brought to court on Tuesday. He said they would be deported in accordance with the law, but added that because of the coronavirus outbreak they would be held in detention for 14 days before being handed to immigration authorities. Thank you for watching. We help you stay up to date all the news hourly. Please subscribe our channel to follow up the latest one.